Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Wooler, Shills, Destiny, Source, Peasants, Vassals. So many other things I could say. Welcome. I'm a useful idiot, and uh, today we're going to go back to Israel because uh, I have to announce that, uh, of course, Benjamin Netanyahu has won the election, so he has been reelected, and the world just became a much more dangerous place. It's not a much more dangerous place because of Iran. Iran. Uh, things will continue on in Iran as they have for many, many, many years. But now we have Benjamin Netanyahu uh, re-elected, and this gives him a mandate. And uh, if you think you've seen the worst of Netanyahu so far, you have not seen anything yet. Uh, the previous administrations that he, he's run have only been uh, a testing ground for what he was going to do next. And he's he's promised that. He won on an election promise that there will never be a Palestinian state. And that is a promise he will keep. So uh, so first of all, what we're going to uh, see over the next uh, few weeks and months is uh, this, this coalition between all these parties and uh, all these uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of candidate, uh, candidates that have uh, been going, rifling through the Israeli election cycle. And uh, so it will be interesting to see what other uh, warmongers uh, Netanyahu forms this coalition with. So uh, so what can we look forward to? Well, we can see a massive expansion of settlements and more confiscation of uh, uh, Palestinian land. Uh, we can see more uh, uh, Zionist uh, terrorist um, settlers uh, unleashing more violence uh, against the Palestinians and making these uh, enclaves uh, these Palestinian enclaves that are being surrounded by Israeli settlements smaller and smaller and smaller. And uh, we will see the uh, complete uh, uh, takeover of West, the West Bank. We will see the complete takeover of Jerusalem, and we may even see uh, the evacuation of Gaza. Uh, for the time being, I'm, I'm sure uh, within the, the realm of the next several years of Netanyahu's uh, new uh, uh, premiership, in uh, Israel, uh, we can expect another war on Gaza at least. Maybe he can squeeze in two, although I'm sure the next one's going to be bad enough that they won't need another one. And uh, and then, uh, well, of course, the biggie is, uh, is now we can look forward to uh, the very, very, very real possibility that uh, Netanyahu and Israel are going to launch a preemptive strike on Iran and uh, that the United States will join in because we have to. Uh, because our Congress is full of a bunch of traitors and bootlickers who owe their allegiance to uh, uh, APAC money and Jewish donors uh, more than they do to American citizens. And why shouldn't they? Because uh, American citizens don't really have anything to offer anymore. They're not very smart. Uh, most of them don't vote. And frankly, most of them are dead broke now. They don't have any money. And so what good are they? And uh, so there we have it. Obviously, I'm a little bitter right now, and uh, I'm a little worried uh, because, as I say, the world just became a much more dangerous place. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.